Heck, this game's been played over a hundred something years. There's never been a no-hitter in the World Series. And he pitched the perfect one. And then when you get the two teams, the big rivals, New York and Brooklyn together, you can't ask for a better setting. It's something that I'll never forget, and I hope it lasts a long time. Who knows? Well, the biggest part of pitching is control, and I never had such good control. And everything that Yogi called for, I threw it pretty close to where he wanted it. He was behind on one hitter. That was in the first inning, the PB race. He got three balls on him, and that was it. 97 pitches, 70 with strikes, two hours and six minutes, the game flew by against a great opponent, Sal Magley. I'm glad I didn't have a big lead, because I could have relaxed you know, this one pitch with you know, that lineup of the Dodgers, you know, and I could have blown it very easy. I guarantee that nobody, but nobody has left this ballpark. The only long ball hit by anybody from the Dodgers. Gil Hodges hit it. Mickey Mantle had to run about 500 feet and make a backhand catch uh, off of off of the fly ball. Bottom of the seventh inning, I came into the dugout and I bumped Mantle to look at the scoreboard. I said, wouldn't it be something, you know, two more innings to go. I probably shouldn't have said anything because then nobody would talk with me. Now, when it gets into the eighth inning or something and you're you got a World Series game and they haven't got a hit. Yeah, you have a little concern. Somebody's going to foul up or something. I can see the folks already craning forward, leaning just a bit as they strain for full concentration on the performance here in the ninth. Well, I was pretty nervous myself. Carl Farillo will lead off in this ninth inning. Carl Farillo, fly ball to Hank Bauer in right field. Now there are two to go. Next batter is Roy Campanella. Round out to Billy Martin. Dale Mitchell comes up with two out in the ninth inning. I said, oh boy, I was worried because Dale Mitchell was probably one of the better hitters uh, for years. I could always get a piece of the ball. Before he came to bat, I probably said a little prayer, you know, oh man, get me through one more. Every pitch came in, it'd be a roar of the crowd. And then it would subside just like the waves going out, silence. So they waited for the next one. I was shaking a little bit, quite a bit. There was that moment frozen in time when that pitch came in. Two strikes, four, one. Here comes the pitch. Strike four. A little horror. Perfect game for John Watson. Yogi Berra. Comes out there. He leaps to Watson. And he's scored by his teammate. Look at this crowd. Everything exploded then. I can sort of remember that Dale turned around to argue and nobody was there. Babe had left and Yogi was jumping on me. Here's Don Larson, 6'4", 215 pounds. And Yogi Bear, short, squat. And when they got together with the leap in Larson's arms, I mean, it looked like uh, the baby being cradled up there for both their biggest moment. That's got to be the highlight, boy, catching a no-hitter. It's never been done. Well, I was just sort of thrilled, but when he hit me, you know, my mind probably went blank, and it probably still is. Man, oh man, how about that? A perfect game for 